Have you ever gone out to try and find somewhere to live? Like buy a house, find an apartment? Probably, right? I have. And when I talk to a realtor, you know what they all say, no matter who you talk to, other than let's spend as much as we can. Location, location, location. There's a reason location's important because I don't want to raise my kids in a neighborhood where drive-by shootings happen every night. Do you? So why would you put your business somewhere that the same thing happens? It makes no sense to me. One of the things that's just fascinated me as an owner and operator of co-working spaces is the amount of people that come and look at our spaces, which are in great areas, great locations. We have security on site 24 seven, all the things that you should care about. And then they go look somewhere else and it might be a couple miles away. It might be 10 miles away. It might be 15 miles away in a completely different side of town with a completely different crime rate and a completely different environment that their customers and clients are going to drive into or that people are going to look online and see where they are. And then they come back and they say, oh, I don't understand. I can go get some space over here. You know, when it's a little bit less, it might be 10%, it might be 20%. And I look at them and say, dude, I don't understand. Of course, it's only going to be cheaper. I don't understand. How is it only 10% cheaper or 20% cheaper? It should be 50% cheaper. Because if you park your car there, it's going to get broken into. When you walk into work, you don't want to be worried about who's driving by and whether the bullets are flying. That's why it's so cheap, because it's not a great area. So when you're thinking about your business, and especially if you're starting out in business, listen, let Wise All Might give you a piece of advice. Put your business first, invest in your business first, and put everything you can into it. And when you do that, you stand the best shot of the business succeeding. When I was starting this business, we looked at all kinds of locations. And I got to tell you, it scared the bejesus out of me when we actually signed the lease on number one because it was such a high-end development. It was so much money. And I'm signing a personal guarantee for years and years of my life that I'm going to pay this back thinking, if this all goes wrong, dude, there's no way I'm paying this back. So I'm going to end up bankrupt. But we did that and we chose the best over every other location that was less expensive and we could have got into for less money. And the reason is because I learned this lesson a long time ago. You put everything you can in your business because you want to make everything you can out of your business. I don't want to go in a low end location because that's not going to do what I need it to do for me. It's not going to portray the image I need it to portray. And if you do the same thing, you're going to regret it. You're going to lose business. You're going to lose customers. When people look you up on Google, then you're going to take one look at that business and think, holy moly, why would I want to do business with someone like that? I want to do business with winners. In the words of Kanye West, give me a room full of mirrors so I can be surrounded by winners. Surround yourself with winners. Put yourself where other companies and organizations are that you want to be associated with. One of our locations, we got Homeland Security in the building. We've got major companies in the area in the building. I got a Fortune 500 company in my space. I got a state representative in the building. Other companies want to be around those kinds of people. That's why we are so happy to be there. And that's why our members are so happy to come and work there. If the best I could offer you, you know, was a bunch of, I don't know, take your pick, whatever you want to call it, a, a business you don't want to necessarily be around. Is that where you want to be? Do you want to walk over homeless folk on the sidewalk when you're getting through your front doors in the morning? And I don't mean that disrespectfully. They need our help. But as a business, I got to think about my image. I got to think about what people think of me. So invest in your business in the right way. Choose a great location. Don't be shy about it. Invest the money in it. One, there are tax breaks anyway. And two, it's going to make you more money. I tell this to people all the time. We've had people who come into our spaces and within a month or two, they've paid their entire year's worth of membership fees by doing business with other people in our space. When you surround yourself with great people, great networking, great opportunities, great things happen. When you surround yourself with not so great, not so great things happen. We've all heard the phrase, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Show me who you surround yourself with and I'll show you where you're headed. Statistically, if you're surrounded by people who are lazy and overweight, you are going to become lazy and overweight. Statistically, if your close network of friends are all heavily into fitness, staying in shape, making good decisions for themselves, you are going to be like that. It is human nature. It is what it is. Don't make the mistake with your business thinking you can save a couple of dollars. Go out there and be a winner. I'm believing for you. I'm believing in you. And wherever you end up, I hope it turns out great for you.